In this lab, we will convert the VMs from using the native vSwitch to the ACI distributed virtual switch port groups. I will go to each VM and uh, change the network adapter to use the ACI port group. So application EPG. Do the same for DB. I've misspelled the EPG BD instead of DB. I'll go to the web VM, change the network adapter, associate to the part 16 port group, and now we need to power on the VMs. Okay, once these are powered on, I'll open the console. So we've got 1.1 IP address, 10.16.1.1. I will ping the DBVM, which is 10.16.2.1. So I can ping from app to DB and 3.1 is web VM so from the app VM I can ping DB and web I will go to the DB VM and try to ping the app and web VMs The app is 10.16.1.1 so I can successfully ping app and DB is 3.1 so this should request timeout so we cannot ping from the DB to web because we don't have a contract to allow traffic between DB and web So from web I will ping the app which is fine and then DB should request timeout. I will go to the leaves and check what the configuration looks like there. So I can do show endpoint. And that's all the endpoints. I can do grip part 16. Then go on leaf 1. Show endpoint endpoint pipe grep six part sixteen here we can see the gateway IPs of each EPG 
we can see the VXLAN IDs and the infrastructure VLAN 3161. I can also do show endpoint VRF pod 16 colon pod 16 VRF detail. Show endpoint. Okay, and do the same command on leaf two. So three MAC addresses learned. Okay, I'll go to the APIC. And then if I go to tenants and part 16, part 16. Application profiles, application profile, application EPG. And then if I go to the app EPG and operational. So this is where the fabric should be seeing um, the endpoints associated with this EPG. So the MAC address of the endpoint, learning source and hosting server. So we can see the policies and uh, we can see contracts associated with this EPG. and the eight ping packets.